Yeah, Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to call this meeting to order. I can see that all commissioners are present. Yes. And uh, your minutes have been sent to you. I need a motion or any corrections to the minutes. No, they be approved. The motion is second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Move the minutes or approved. Uh, normally we have an old business process first, but today, since we have several visitors here from the tree panel, uh, and the recommendations are now before us, uh, I'm going to change the order of business a little bit, and we're going to jump right into the uh, hearing about the tree panel's uh, work first. Uh, but before uh, we get into that, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge, I see that there's some of the panel members are here. This group has worked tirelessly. It's estimated 83 hours of work, not including field trips, small groups, uh, research at home, whatever you want to call it. I, I, we don't know how to thank you, but those of you that are here that were on the panel, if you would stand up, please. <laughs> so they vol volunteered their time. It was about eight months very challenging community issue. Um, those of us that got to attend uh, some of the meetings uh, can attest there was a whole lot of information. There was an awful lot to learn. Uh, personally, I know I, I, I was just telling Margo I can't walk down the street without observing a tree to see how it's been trimmed or how it's growing now. I'm sure that most of you guys are like that as well. Uh, to understand the technical specifications of tree pruning, uh, the whole electrical distribution system, communication requirements and challenges of local governments, all those things are just a small smattering of what all got discussed to reach this point. We really do appreciate the time and energy y'all put into this. Um, the recommendations, I'm sure, are before us, and I know they're based on what you think is important for this community. So on behalf of this board, I really want to thank you for your efforts and what you've done. Um, so I'm going to now recognize Mintha, I guess, and she'll uh, take it from here on the tree trim, tree, tree trim policy review panel. Excuse me. Awesome. Go ahead. <coughs> this one you did. I got a frog in my throat. I apologize. Uh, it is my pleasure to present uh, this to you today. This is a resolution related to the tree panel's work and recognizing them for their hard work and dedication. But as I move into it, I want to tell you that in your uh, folders that you have in front of you are uh, the final reports. They are the primary report from the tree panel and two minority reports. Those are just <coughs> for you today, and obviously it'll take you some time to read and review those, but they are before you in the, in the folders that you have. Uh, just to summarize, uh, take you back a little bit, I, I feel like I need to remind you, but then again, some of you have been intimately involved by attending the meetings and the reports that we've done here monthly. But this process started in December of 2009 with a city council resolution and then with a KUB board resolution just a week later, establishing uh, the tree trim policy review panel. Uh, the board resolutions went into uh, the composition of the board, which I'll go into in just a moment. Um, we also included a facilitator. Many of you know that when you do these public input processes, fairness is probably the most critical issue, and we felt like it was necessary to have a facilitator who was independent to lead the meetings, keep us on course, and make sure that everybody's views got heard. Public participation was an absolute essential part of this. We did that in several ways. We had one session that was nothing but public input and we advertised it as such. We offered public input at the end of each meeting and we also had a tree trim uh, email that we were able to get lots of input for people who could not attend the meetings. The meetings were held in this building. Uh, this building is accessible to bus routes. So we felt like this building was appropriate for the meetings. Uh, and here we are today with the final recommendations. Let me go to just a moment on the selection criteria. This is the criteria that was established in the City Council resolution, and I think you can see from this that they wanted and expected us to uh, include a lot of diversity in perspectives about 
input on the tree trim policies of KUB. And I call it tree trim because that's what the panel is named. But as many have said, we learned a lot in the process, including me, and it really should be called tree pruning. But we named the committee that, so we're sticking with it. Uh, when the KUB board considered what should be in the criteria, we added some components that weren't in the city council resolution. And one was that we wanted a member of city council to participate. City council is self-selected from its members and uh, appointed Brenda Palmer to be on the panel. We also felt it was important to have geographic diversity and we accomplished that through having a representative of each councilmatic district. Uh, we also went out and uh, recruited some people who frankly had been critics of ours in previous tree trim experiences. We didn't want to go through this process, have this investment in time by the people on the panel and not make sure we had every piece of input and every piece of perspective we could get. So we, we did recruit some folks in that regard. And then obviously the others uh, that you see there below that brought their perspectives. Uh, this is the panel that we had and I can't tell you how much I appreciate their time and effort. And on a personal note, uh, I echo what the chair just said, but it, it has been a pleasure for me and all the staff to get to work with these folks. I um, got to know some of them personally that I had never met before, and I am renewed in my confidence in this community because we have people who give them themselves and give up their time to just make a process better that benefits our community. <coughs> so if you don't mind, I'll, I'll pause for a moment and recognize everybody uh, individually. Uh, Dwayne Burke from Lee <coughs> County, would you stand up? Uh, Jim Bletner. Just stay standing. Larry Silverstein, Scott Romines, Brenda Palmer, Jamie Rowe, and did I miss anybody? Um, thank you all very, very much for what you've done. <laughs> the mere fact that they're here today shows their continued commitment to this, and I, uh, there will be an opportunity for them to speak as soon as I finish. So. Some of them may want to have their own input. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Don Ford was our facilitator. Don is a professional in this area and uh, has done it for years and, in my opinion, uh, did an excellent job in making sure that we stayed on task. The public participation was um, good, I think. I frankly would have wished we had more input, but that is uh, representative of the input that we received. We started out the process with trying to become educated, informed on different perspectives. So there were some KUB speakers who shared what the KUB current program was, why we do what we do. We also had some members of the panel who had experienced uh, issues with us and or had a certain expertise that they wanted to share. So we had panel members who actually did presentations. And then we had outside experts come in, some were related to tree <coughs> professionals, and we also had attorneys come in and talk to us about uh, property rights and different issues like that. One other thing that, thing that we worked into the schedule that I think was very worthwhile is we uh, got a bus and went on a field trip to look at actual trim jobs and we sought input from the panel members and others of what trees they would like to look at, i.e. who had complained about certain trees and we went out in the field and actually looked at those. And that was really early on in the process so the panel could see what in, in reality, what people have experienced. Uh, and as it was said earlier, 21 meetings, 83 hours in formal meeting session, but a lot of work outside of those meetings. Um, it, it was from 4 to 8 o'clock at night, most meetings, and they worked hard sometimes going to 9 o'clock. So they're to be commended for their input. As I said, the recommendations, there are over 70 recommendations that are in the final report. Um, they break down into these four categories, and I think those are kind of the broad categories that probably uh, represent almost all of the recommendations. Those were uh, created through a brainstorming session where the group said, okay, what are the main categories, and then they brainstorm recommendations under those. The minority reports are also there for you today, and there are two of those. Um, before the panel got started in, in depth in their work, they established objectives. And I think this was really smart of them to do this because when they came up with ideas or recommendations, they would make sure that the recommendations actually supported one or more of these objectives. These object objectives go range all the way from safe and reliable electric service 
down to property rights, uh, down to recognizing the value of trees in our community and how we trim them so they would be healthy. Now next steps. Uh, this is probably what a, a, a lot of us around here are thinking about. Uh, today at 5 o'clock, City Council is holding a workshop. It will be chaired by the member, uh, uh, Brenda Palmer, who is was on the panel and she's actually chairing the workshop today. You are all invited, the public is invited. It's in the main assembly room at the City County building. Um, I, if you all agree, what I would like to suggest as our next steps here at KUB are for the staff to take the report that has been presented to you today. We, we got it in final form yesterday. Uh, give us a month to take that back, work with our staffs and our operations folks, and we come back to you in October and give you our feedback about what programs and recommendations are appropriate for us, for us to implement. After that, I think it's appropriate to go back out to the public and have another, another public input process. Those of you who were on the board many years ago uh, remember our PACE 10 approach. And once, once we came up with how, how we were going to implement the PACE 10 program, we went out to the community and had uh, open house kind of sessions <coughs> in different areas of the community and asked for input. So we would recommend that between the October meeting and the November meeting, we do that again, probably north, south, east, west kind of locations. We also will put on the internet everything related to the recommendations, the minority report, <coughs> and KUB's response to that. So if there's someone who has an interest and cannot attend the public meeting, then they could give us their input through uh, our website. And then finally, um, I would recommend that we staff come back to you in November with the culmination of our staff input, the input we've received through these public meetings and whatever changes have come about from that. And probably the most important thing I have to say here today is that I recommend adoption of Resolution 1232. This is a resolution to honor and recognize the panel members for their hard work and their dedication, not only to support KUB's program, but more importantly, uh, to support this community. Trees are important to the community. They recognized that. They gave uh, selflessly of themselves. This was their own personal private time. And I wholeheartedly support adoption of Resolution 1232. Any questions? Oh, okay. First of all, you forgot to introduce the panel member. Oh, Bill Elmore is a panel member. He was a non-voting panel member, and we seen so much I forgot. So <laughs> you could have, you could have jabbed. It's okay to be on the panel, so I think he should be in there. Well, he worked just as hard as everyone else. Uh, thank you, Member. Uh, would anybody like to uh, address the, the board regarding the? Let, let me remind everybody we're receiving this for the first time today as a board, so we really haven't seen it. <clears throat> and I have conferred a little bit on how we came up with this plan to go ahead and let take the next month, let staff go ahead and start reviewing it. Us as a board individually can take a look at this, try to uh, digest it, understand it, uh, and then when we come back in October, I think we'll all be a little clearer, and maybe staff, uh, hopefully staff will have time, have had time to uh, comment on, on what all is in there. There's a lot of information. Uh, anybody over there like to, uh, sure, let's, uh, Jamie, would you like to go first, please? Since the camera's on you, let me go. Wherever, wherever you're comfortable.